Once upon a time in the wild, wild west, anarchy reigned supreme. And people were losing hope in institutions back then corrupted to the bone. There were only four entities left to withstand the chaos. Only these four to bring back the order. The good, the, good, the, bad, the bad, the ugly, the ugly and the wild motherfuckers. My name is I'm Build Up, and welcome back to another Borderlands 3 video. Now, this is pretty much an improvement of my finger gun flak build, you know, with this really cool pistol right here. Where you can get powered up shots. Well, it's improved because you can infinitely have those powered up shots, because you're never going to have to reload. <laughs> It's gonna be really fun. Now let's get right into the stats. All right, let's go. All right, starting off in the master tree, we're using Gamma Burst, of course. Gamma Burst is so good. And then we're gonna use Atomic Aroma so we can get all the enemies irradiated around by pet. So, yeah. Empathic Rage so we can have 20% extra damage when we're using our finger gun. All right, so. Two points in Fur Furiosity, three points in Persistent Hunter, five po points in Who Rescued Who, Who Rescued Who, five points in Frenzy, and five points in Barbaric Yop. Bar Barbaric Yop is just too good. It allows my uh, Great Horn Skag to get that 15% damage and 30% gun damage, which is a juicy bit of damage. Now we're gonna move over to the Hunter Tree. Now, what we want is crit. <laughs> this is pretty much still a crit build. Just not with, just without using fade away, still, pretty much. All right, um, I put two points in Interplanetary Stalker, which I could have put more in there. I put, sorry about that. 
I got three points to leave no trace. The class mod is amazing on this. Cause look, I got 72% chance to add ammo back into my my gun, so it's perfect. <laughs> so you can pretty much call, call it also a, a leave no trace build, but there's also one more thing that makes this gun very, you know, and makes it not run out of ammo. So I also got three points in head count, seven points in the ambush predator, so good. Wow, like, cause look at that juicy critical damage and that handling you have, oh god. It pretty much helps. Um, five points in two thing. You need or you want your double bullets. Three points in big game. Three points in most dangerous game. One point in galactic shell. You're definitely gonna need this because you want that juicy critical damage. You don't have to put points in here, but I, I just didn't. And one point in the megavore. And I believe I just put two points into furious attack, just cause I had the points left over. I love Furious Attack, it's so good. <laughs> now let's go over to the weapons. My weapons are not preferred. All you really need is the Dead Chamber. That's really all you need. Because it does so much damage by itself, you won't really need any other gun. But if the armor is really thick, you can always pull out a corrosive weapon or an ice weapon. I'm using the Auditing Hyper Focus just in case for that. I got a high capacity Warlord because it's terrified ammo regeneration. Pretty good. I'm literally. If it ammo. <laughs> and I got this Elder Blaster. I don't know. I just found it. So, eh. It doesn't really matter. But this stuff doesn't really matter all that much. All you really need is the Dead Chamber. Now, another stuff you actually need. You need any type of shield. Any type of shield. That, with while terrified, you gain ammo regeneration. The more terror you have, the higher the bonus. Which is mucho good. I love this. And plus, mine also has a 15% chance to absorb bullets as ammo, which is also pretty good. So, yeah, I, I just got a random purple shield because I needed the anointment. Now, I, ha I do have a legendary shield with this, but I cannot use it because it's going to get me killed constantly. I got a front ladder, which is pretty much a life insurance shield. It takes too much of my health away. And as soon as someone hits my electricity weapon, I'm dead. <laughs> I am dead, so I'm not going to be using that. I need to get a better legendary. So, yeah. Shield is your preference. You just need to have the anointment on it. And I just got a grenade. I'm an action skill, and it will apply terror to me. Any way to apply terror will be fine. It could be melee, Amara, or something, but I don't know. Uh, Alright, and for the class mod, the one also makes this really, really good. Because you got three points in those that that right there that just that <laughs> and two points in that because i how did i it's called ambush prayer and leave no trace of my bat <laughs> i can't speak now how to make this build work you gotta there's a little glitch right now if you look at up the straight of the ceiling and then just spam the crap out of gamma burst it won't place it but it will count as you trying to use it so you can instantly terrify yourself causing you to have that ammo regeneration look at that and look, I can have all these powered up shots permanently. Now, when I'm on the battlefield and I hit score a critical hit, I have a 72% chance to just, uh, put ammo back in. So it's pretty freaking good. So you can almost near spam it, because you don't want to like, straight spam it so fast that you have to reload and ruin your shots. You can't do that. And then you have to go through the entire reloading process and trying to get him back. Like that, I, the first time I got it lucky. So, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Now, now that you know how to do it, let's go test it out. I mean, I've already showed you the beginning, but we're going to do it live. Now, let's try to get this gun. Oh, there we go. Spam your action skill out the air. Place down your pet. And let's go. See, you hit extremely hard. And I'm doing this on, uh, what's it called? A Phoenix. Because I don't know, a lot of people like testing out their build on a Phoenix. Because I have all types of enemies here. I don't know. But I, I prefer doing this, doing this in Flutter Shaft, so. 
I have no, no doubts. Yeah, as you can see, this build hits really freaking hard. And on every crit, I'm still putting ammo back into my magazine. That wasn't even a crit, that was a base damage. Oh, baby. Love this. I hit him for 7 million right there. 200. And I'm not even doing much. Let me get terrified again and get my ammo back. Yeah. It's honestly a really fun and powerful build. <laughs> if you guys want to try it for yourself, this gun is really insane. The worst modifier I could, you could possibly get is probably negative 20% damage on all guns and negative 50% damage on pistons and That's negative listed. percent enemies take 50% less damage from normal bullets is the worst thing you can ever have with this gun believe me I've gotten it like several times <laughs> hated it never hated it ever money. I could not do anything with all those modifiers man this gun is just it makes you hit pretty much almost as hard as you hit in your fade away. Oh god. Oh god. And anoint for what you got here. Oh, what you got? Okay. He's down! <laughs> I am literally destroying things. Everything in my way. Oh god. My pet, no! I'll avenge you! And the massive amount of AoE damage you get from this. Because... If you're going down the badass... Uh, hey, hey, my ammo. Come on, can I get my power? Yeah, we go. Fire this in the air. Revive my pet. And we start. Look at this. You get massive AoE damage. Annihilating anyone in your path. <laughs> you want to specifically aim for the head so you can demolish everything in your path. And from a range, it's even better. So, yeah, that's pretty much the build. Really good for mobbing. I guess now I'll show you guys how good it is on taking out bosses such as Grave War and Tron. Getting to the Grave War fight with the same stats I had for uh, what I had on Athenus. So, yeah, let's go. these crap. Yeah. Look at all these damage you can get. Look at this, you're hitting for 60k, 50k, bro. Now if you could just spam this, this would be completely broken. Yep. You can just completely demolish uh, Grave Warden. Even with this build, it's it's a boss melter and it's a mobber. It's pretty good build. Uh, <coughs> I know. Ooh. All right, guys. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, I'm glad to be of service. Leave a like down below if you really enjoyed it. That I'll be really appreciated. It'll help me. And uh, yeah, I want to see you guys try this build out. I want to see what you guys can do with this build and also leave your own build ideas down in the comments below so I can uh, review them possibly in the future so yeah and I'll see you guys next time I want to bang 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 <laughs>